All right, this amount is what I would normally put on an extra large load. But for towels, sheets, and um, white, I usually use more. So into the water. Never pour it directly onto your clothes. Eh, why not? I should have done this with the soapy water. And this is the big uh, 129 uh, full ounce flow ounce or full ounce, full ounce bottle. <laughs> As the tub was filling, I noticed some unstoppables floating up. One thing I, I forgot to tell you guys, um, as far as rideshare goes with the Ford Flex, like I said, it was easy in and out, and even the minivans make good uh, rideshare vehicles as well. For those of you who don't know what Rideshare is, that's Uber and Lyft and any other company similar to that. Um, um, if you need extensions for your seat belts, Fords, Fords and Dodges back seat belts tend to be a lot shorter than the front seat belts. Um, but if you need extensions, I had no idea. We went over there to buy extensions because I needed one. I'm 450 pounds and 6'2". And um, I need them for the front because the front, you know, would lock right away as soon as I clipped. And I struggled to get all the way down in between the center console and the armrest and uh, where the seatbelt um, clip is. So we went back to Ford, the dealership where I got it from. And they didn't have any, but they sent us to... Lincoln to a Lincoln dealership which was a bit a little bit further from there um, so of course for those who don't know there is a cousin to the Ford Flex a Lincoln cousin and that is the MKT and that is quote-unquote the luxurious cousin of the Ford Flex and <laughs> she's not cute I could tell you that <laughs> she's not if some of you think the Ford Flex is ugly Take a look at the MKT. <laughs> um, but anyways, so that's the same vehicle. So they had, um, I needed two for the front. Actually, I went for one, and then they, he's all like, we've got another one if you want both of them. I was like, yeah, sure. And he said they were free. I was like, are you serious? It's like, they're free? He's all like, we cannot discriminate against our customers and tell them, you know what, if you can't fit in our vehicles, then don't buy one. It's discrimination, it's discriminating. So that's why um, Ford Motor Company offers them for free. Now, I don't know if it's Ford Motor Company in general or just the dealerships here. But the back seat belts, you need separate. The, the front seat belt extensions will not work in the back seat belt um, as um, either. So you need back seat belt extensions as well. Now you can keep those in the in the pocket, you know, from the doors, or you can keep them in the compartment in the rear. Um, it's up to you. The two that I have for the front, I keep them one attached on the driver's side always, and then the other one in the compartment and the side compartment of the door for the passenger side. And so I'm gonna go back and look for the two. Well, when I first got the vehicle, we went to California, and my brother-in-law. Well, the holidays were good for him, to him too. He said he said he was uncomfortable because the seat belt, as soon as he clicked it, it was tight. It locked. So, so I was like, well, I didn't think about it. Could have gotten hit. I should have got the rear extensions too, because they did offer it. So I still have to go back for the rear extensions. But for ride share, if you get really big guys like me, um, they're they're handy. I mean, you got the extensions. If they don't, if they can't click the belt, then no problem. Here's the extension. You know, um, I don't know if other. Um, motor companies, you know, 
GM or or the the foreign companies they do the same thing or not they might have a charge who knows but I'm just glad that I, I wasn't charged for mine so I will be going back in the future for the the two the two back seat ones I don't need some for the third row because in the third row it's usually kids that go back there anyway so no no issues there but we do have some heavy duty friends takes for the spin to reach its optimal speed. And you can still hear a lot of water spraying onto the outer tub from the towels. Okay, the sound of the water splashing reduced. So here's what I'm going to do. Remember I put water into the fabric softener dispenser.
This one is so common. You see it in movies, you see it in TV shows. If it were an extra large load, I would use two sheets. But since it's a large load, I'll use one sheet. And if your lint trap is doing this, it's not going in all the way, it's because down there you got lint collected. And I have to bring in the vacuum and take care of that soon. Or if you got a hook, uh, it's thin, it could use a little more lint. Some of y'all are gonna argue about that, saying no, you should clean it every time, every load. <clears throat> but, yeah. <laughs> oh, one minute. That's all she wrote. In about five minutes, it'll shut itself off. Ouch. I'll just do it myself. Alright, that's it, folks. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Bye.